Hey. Hello. You got a minute? John has something he wants to talk to you about. I brought you kolaches. Ooh, yummy. So what's up? Tell him. OK. So some colleagues of mine at the university are doing a research study on twins. I told them about Sheldon and his sister, and they were most intrigued. <laughs> Jeez, I don't, I don't know if I want some scientists poking and prodding the kids. Oh, but they wouldn't be poked and prodded. They just have to, you know, answer some questions. And maybe some puzzles and tests. It's not too bad. Where is it? Houston. Well, it just got bad. That's, that's a long drive. It does pay $50 an hour plus gas and expenses. Really? I told you to start with that. Oh. 50 bucks an hour, four or five hours a week? That, that's more than our mortgage. I know, I know. But Sheldon's already self-conscious about being different from other kids. I worry how this might affect him. You're being too protective. He's a rock. A rock? Are we raising the same child? And what about Missy? Aren't these tests going to make her feel bad that she's not as smart as Sheldon? I'm not as smart as Sheldon. Doesn't make me feel bad. And we can put the money aside for their college education. That's a good point. Yeah, it's a great point. So, Sheldon, Missy, you got some exciting news. George, you took a bath? No. How come I don't get exciting news? It's isn't about you. But after dinner, why don't you go rinse off? So what's up? Well, a couple of scientists at the college where Dr. Sturgis teaches are doing a research study on twins. They want to meet you guys, ask you some questions. Oh, boy. A research study. Will they give us written tests? Uh, yeah. I already love it. My man. Missy? I believe there might be a Dairy Queen on the way there. Can I get an Oreo Blizzard? You know what I think? I think you're smarter than him. Well, to be perfectly honest, Sheldon has always avoided children his own age. Tell him about temper tantrums. They're not temper tantrums. He just has strong opinions. <laughs> yeah, like when you yell and stomp your feet and slam the door off its hinge. They're scientists. You can't trick them. And as for Missy, she's just the opposite. Loves to be around people and other kids. Makes friends easy. Does she have temper tantrums as well? Nope, she's very even keeled. Except for when she's eating. You put your hand near her face or she's working on lamb chops, she will bite off a finger. <laughs> Our daughter doesn't bite. Was there anything unusual about your pregnancy? Nope, not that I remember. Really? You cried for like seven months. Those were tears of joy. <laughs> what about all those times you punched me? Punches of joy. You're not gonna get much out of Fred and Wilma here. Why don't you just get cracking on the kids? Okay. Are you ready? Will I be timed? Yes. Fantastic. Ready to start? One last thing. Did you ever think of wearing that white coat with the belt? No. You should, because you have a very nice figure, and it's lost in there. Kudos on the question which train gets to St. Louis first. <laughs> I have to tell you something. Why don't you finish the test first? This can't wait. The other doctor's got a crush on you. Oh, dear Lord. Hey, what's up with you and Dr. Pillsbury? Dr. Pilsen? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you can't say because we're on camera. <sighs> Insightful. Are you doing something different with your hair? No. Uh, why? No reason. Just looks nice. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Um, uh, what do you think about maybe stopping for a drink after to discuss the test results? I would like that. 